Join Cruise Addicts for a seven-day voyage aboard one of the newest, most innovative vessels at sea. Awesome, incredible, oh my gosh. Mardi Gras, Carnival's newest flagship is described as a ship of first. First to feature a more eco-friendly way to power and first with more ways to have fun at sea. We'll get to that in a bit. But first, it's time to party. Wow! With cruises being unfortunately sidelined for way too long, stepping on board is as much a welcome back party as it is a sail away party. Wow. Rocking and rolling her way out of Port Canaveral, Mardi Gras impresses the many happy guests on board, but also those who watch and wave from ashore. This is her home port, originating seven-day Eastern and Western Caribbean cruises and where our journey begins. At 1,100 feet long and 180,000 gross tons, Mardi Gras is among the largest cruise ships in the world and at the time of her launch, the biggest in the Carnival fleet. She's built to cruise with around 5,200 passengers and a little more than 1,700 officers and crew. A vast difference from the very first Carnival ship, TSS Mardi Gras in 1972. Named in her honor, the new Mardi Gras is more than six times the size and a statement in technological advancement. I never thought that I would see a ship like this. I mean, it is so different to anything that we've done, yet the foundation is still there, the foundation of fun, the, the brilliant crew that st were on the original Mardi Gras. That, that feeling of fun is still generating around the ship. She's amazing, I mean, truly jaw-droppingly brilliant. This is a ship that is really a game changer, I think, for our brand. Uh, not based on the size, but based on all the options that you have. We're riding high on the 15th deck in a veranda stateroom starboard side. The room features what Carnival designers claim are friendly spaces with clean lines. increased storage and with a more at home feel. The sofa converts into a single bed and we discovered the ottoman has several uses like a clothes hamper. Easy access to lighting is a plus and the well-lit bathroom with a nicer designed shower didn't disappoint. If you want an even sweeter time, spend more and choose from the more than 180 suites on board. Days before we embarked, we downloaded the Carnival Hub app, started planning our vacation with information about dining, entertainment, excursions, and more. Once on board, it's how we make our reservations and stay connected with what's happening. Grand Central in the atrium is quite unique. It's a central gathering area on three levels with spectacular floor to ceiling views. A variety of programs are held here throughout the day. And one of the more popular places to find nightly entertainment. It's open with more line of sight. Right around the corner is the fridge quarter possibly our favorite spot. The Brass Magnolia is a New Orleans style bar with live bands. Follow the colorful murals to the fortune teller bar. Unusual drinks are served up here. Emerald's Bistro 1396. Chef Emerald Lagasse's first restaurant at sea is an authentic New Orleans eatery. The number 1396 was Mardi Gras hull number at the shipyard where she was built in Finland. Like on other carnival ships, Alchemy Bar is quite popular. Another one of our favorites, Havana Bar. Mojito, anyone? 
piano bar was always filled on this cruise. It's a popular place for private functions. Summer landing is on deck eight aft. Sausage, brisket, pork, they serve it up at Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse Brew House. We also love the Heroes Tribute Lounge in this area, a salute to veterans. Carnival continues to show its appreciation to those who serve in the military and recognize those heroes with special gatherings while on board. La Piazza is midship on deck eight. This area is an Italian courtyard. Pizza, paninis, pretty much any time of day. And most cruisers don't expect to find a Fiat and a Vespa on this ship. Enjoy your favorite Italian dishes at this countryside setting at Cucina del Capitano without having to pay extra. We also got to try Rudy's Sea Grill, menus by renowned chef Rudy Sodeman. Other fan favorites include Bonsai Tapanyaki and Bonsai Sushi near Grand Central. A first also, I think, for this ship, which is also sort of not talked about enough, is we've got outdoor seating for every single restaurant and area that we have where you can go outside and take some pizza and go and sit outside or you can take a sandwich and go and sit outside outdoor seating it is just a ship of firsts all built on the bedrock and foundation of fun there are two main restaurants the flamingo restaurant and the palm restaurant elegant dining rooms with dining times and assigned tables. Be sure to use your app to make your reservation. And when you want buffet style, you'll be on deck 15 at the Lido Marketplace. A nice layout of serving stations with a variety of delicious choices. We thought the decor was very inviting. Booths, high tables, and lots of seats with a view. Crowds, with exception of peak breakfast hours, weren't too bad. We also learned with all the included food options on Mardi Gras, there's really no need to even go to the buffet. Feel the vibration. Bolt is the first ever roller coaster at sea. I mean, who would have thought, not me, I raised my hand and say 34 years ago and somebody had said, we're going to put a roller coaster on a ship, I would have laughed. I would have gone, ha, ha, ha! Bolt is an attraction available to people of all ages. The ultimate playground also includes Carnival's largest water park yet. The Skyline Zip Line and Sports Square. Guy's Burger Joint is not only located in a great place on Lido Deck, but open from mid-morning until later in the evening. Get your burger made your way, and it's complimentary. Also on Lido near the Tides Pool is Big Chicken. Recipes inspired by Carnival CFO, Chief Fun Officer Shaquille O'Neal. This spot serves up tasty chicken sandwiches, biscuits, and fried chicken strips. Another first on Mardi Gras, and not surprisingly, it is popular for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Island vibes and refreshing drinks are always at Red Frog Tiki Bar by the Beach Pool. And by the way, there are six pools in all. A very warm welcome at San Juan, Puerto Rico, our first port of call on this Eastern Caribbean itinerary. We're excited to stretch our legs and explore the old city. We're going to do some shopping. And of course, have a world famous pina colada or two. We even found some street performances celebrating Puerto Rico's heritage and long history. 
a breathtaking sail away is the perfect way to cap off this day. Mardi Gras lives up to the hype from musicals to game shows. Large productions in the 900 plus seat theater and dazzling entertainment can be found center stage from morning to midnight. Survey said. We enjoyed the exclusive Family Feud Live. And back in the atrium, another interactive experience, deal or no deal. Plenty of laughs could be heard from the Limelight Lounge and the Punchliner Comedy Club. A very spacious casino is located on deck seven with predominantly non-smoking areas. A smaller smoking section is in an enclosed space with its own air system. No shortage of entertainment on this ship. And tax and duty-free shops are located on decks six, seven, and eight. Today, we're in Amber Cove on the north side of Dominican Republic. A short walk from the ship and we're meeting up with our excursion, all-inclusive Coconut Cove Beach Break. We booked this one at Carnival.com based on the better than average reviews, our desire to see the countryside and to soak up some sun. The ride is about 45 minutes one way and a little bumpy, but once we're there, it's a nice place to relax or get an adrenaline rush. The three-part zip line stretches across the water and over the beach. Be prepared to wait your turn. This takes up most of the time on this excursion, so keep that in mind if you wanted to still enjoy the beach and get your fair share of the included drinks and buffet. Back on Mardi Gras, we're faced with the big choice of where to eat dinner. We decide on Chabang. New to Carnival, it's a blend of two popular cuisines on one menu in one specialty restaurant. Yes, Mexican and Chinese. We sampled both at one dining. Some guests will pay extra for a private culinary experience called Chef's Table. This multi-course meal is served up in the Carnival Kitchen. Sea Days are when we always want to seek out that perfect place to relax. This area, located on Deck 18, is called Serenity, and it's for adults only. We also had access to Loft 19, a secluded retreat for Excel guests. You can rent a cabana and relax in a private whirlpool. The Cloud 9 Spa, Thermal Suite, and a state-of-the-art fitness center with ocean views are on Deck 6. To learn more about LNG Clean Energy, we paid a visit to the ship's engine room and control center. Mardi Gras is the first ship sailing in the Americas powered by liquefied gas. It's billed as being odorless, colorless, and a more environmentally friendly fuel source. Energy efficiency amongst all of the equipment on board with laundries and galleys and lighting and entertainment, it just uh, air conditioning. If you focus on it, you can get great results. And I think the Mardi Gras is a good example of that. Our last stop is Nassau. Mardi Gras port of registry and where there are so many great things to see. The ever popular Atlantis and Paradise Island, with all it has to offer, is just a short cab ride away. A brand new port is coming here, which will only enhance the shopping and dining experiences. Back on board, we're enjoying our last dinner at Carnival Cruise Line's classic American steakhouse, Fahrenheit 555. Chefs say they lock in the best flavor by searing prime cuts at exactly 555 degrees Fahrenheit, and thus the name. We especially love the 18 ounce spice rubbed ribeye and the fun art at your table dessert presentation. All right, bon appetit. Mardi Gras. Sailing weekly out of Florida's Port Canaveral, 
if you want to experience something that's really different from any other Carnival cruise ship, then you want to try out Mardi Gras. Learn more about how you can experience the fun and get updates on Carnival cruises at cruiseaddicts.com.